Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Xavier Carter. I'm a journalist with the Toronto Star. And today I'll be speaking about my experience with leading an online social justice movement that eventually led to change in the real world. Next week will mark one year since the murder of George Floyd, a pivotal moment which sparked a political uprising and started a global conversation about the oppression of black people. At the time, I was a new graduate from Ryerson School of Journalism and as a budding young journalist who is also half black, I was glued to screens, analyzing how the media was portraying the anti-black racism movement. I noticed there was a huge focus on struggle, pain and violence, rather than deconstructing the systems of white power that were creating it. In June, 2020, a mass email was sent from the chair of Ryerson School of Journalism about their stance on anti-black racism related to Mr. Floyd's death. The email posed the question of what can we do better? Upon reading this, the idea came to me, we need education. I felt there needed to be a class that taught about systems of white power in the media and how they work to skew representations of black people. A study done by Ryerson on diversity in the Canadian media industry found that stereotypical narratives about black people are often framed in journalism with negative and presumptuous undertones. These stories portray Black people from a place of victimization, having villainous tendencies, and also being crime related. I envisioned a class where students could learn about how descriptions of young Black men in police news releases can be harmful, or how choosing only white experts for stories dismisses the voices of Black professionals within the same fields. I believed a course like this could teach upcoming journalists on how to write about Black communities that wasn't biasedly centered around tragedy, catastrophe, or struggle. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of important stories about tragedy that can spark change. We all saw that in the case with George Floyd. But we see this narrative recycled in mainstream media over and over again, which can skew representations of Black identity for non-Black audiences and devalue individual experiences. I knew of so many other stories about Black empowerment, excellence, and celebration that I saw the mainstream media was skipping over. So I decided to connect with a few of my friends from school with the idea of such a course, and things moved quite quickly. Myself, Sarah Jabakanji, Rosemary Akpan, and Tiffany Mongu spent countless hours over FaceTime calls putting together a petition on change.org. We knew we needed more than just our words to demand for a course about Black communities in the media. We shared the petition on the evening of June 9, 2020 with our school peers through Twitter. As it began to be shared through the Ryerson community, it caught the attention of affluent Ryerson alumni who said they'd actually be better at their jobs if they took such a course. From there, legacy journalists like Anne-Marie Medawake from CTV Your Morning and Sri Pradkar from Toronto Star showed their support, which added to the popularity. The petition grew exponentially overnight, reaching up to 1,500 signatures within 24 hours, and it continued increasing. Most of the major media outlets caught on to this movement, and we began doing TV interviews on CBC, CTV, and Global News. The heads of Ryerson Journalism witnessed the power this petition had and decided to meet with our group to make this course into a real thing. After a week of planning, Ryerson announced that reporting on race, the Black community and the media would be taught by Eternity Martis that upcoming fall. Normally, it takes up to two years for a course to be put into the school's curriculum, but the urgency of the online petition made Ryerson journalism see the value it could bring to the program. This course was built from a singular idea, which then grew through an online platform and manifested into positive impacts offline too. Many of the Black students who took the course last fall told us how they could finally see themselves succeeding in the industry. They were so happy to be studying other Black journalists who went on to have successful careers despite the industry being a historically white space. The professor for the course, Eternity Martis, was invited to lead a seminar on anti-Black racism at the Toronto Star. I happily attended the session, which was a micro version of some of the topics taught in our course. Lastly, our petition sparked the interest of other J schools, including Carleton University, who wrote letters proposing for a similar class to be taught there. The movement I led proves how powerful social media can be to educate people on different life experiences and unites us together about how to bring concrete change. I am proud of the accomplishments this course had, and I hope it continues bringing meaning to future journalism students in years to come.
Thank you everyone for listening.